Good morning. I want to share a, a part of a story that uh, Rachel Remen read, which really touched my spirit. Rachel was uh, 15 years old when she came down with Crohn's disease, and she suffered deeply from it so badly that one of the things she couldn't, she had to decide, was she going to be able to eat this piece of cheese without pain? Was she going to be able to sit up and watch something? Was she going to be able to go to a movie or would she have to get up and leave because of the pain? And as a result of this, the way she dealt with it was by anger. She hated everything, she said. She was angry, not hated, but she was angry at everything. She was angry at her body because her body didn't function correctly. She was angry at the uh, part of her um, heritage where she had gotten this Crohn's as a part of uh, her makeup. And she was angry at those folk. She was angry at people who were doing well, who were living well. She was angry at everything. But it was her anger that fueled her. And she, at the, as she went on through school, she arrived finally. She was in her last year in medical school. And she, that was about 10 years later. And she'd been living on this anger. And she was so frustrated. And so when she, she got an opportunity to go to a leading uh, medical school to be one of the primary residences. But she knew she didn't have the strength. She barely had the strength to finish what she was doing here. And so she went out to, a, to the beach. And while she was out there, she began, she walked the beach and she was angry. And as she watched the water and touched the water with her, with her cane or whatever it was, she just was so angry. And all of a sudden that anger boiled up within her and it almost consumed her like it had many times before. But this time it passed, it went through her. And she said she suddenly realized that this was an energy that had kept her and made her able to do what she had done up till now. But she had to refocus this energy. She had to find a way to make it more profitable. It couldn't be anger alone. It couldn't be anger that was pushing her. And so she discovered that if she did another way of doing it, so she started using the anger to help her get things done, and she wasn't angry anymore. So when she got, she went and took this new opportunity, and she got through it. But what helped her was that for the first time she would ask somebody for help. Before that, she'd been so bitter that she wanted to do it all herself. But she asked for somebody for help, and she got through it. She said years later she had she discovered that the idea of the life force, something within us that's within us, and that uh, it said that there are three way, four ways that this life force can be expressed. It can be expressed as anger, it can be expressed as sorrow, it can be expressed as joy, and it be, can be expressed as disappointment. And this same energy, whatever it is that's deep down inside of us, comes, is exploded out as anger or joy or disappointment or sorrow. And what we need to understand is what that is is, a, is our life energy, is our life force. It wants to help us become what we need to be. And that's a great idea for me, to understand that that force down inside of me wants, to, wants me to live, wants me to get all that life can give to me, and it, it wants to do the same for you. And I'm praying this morning that that will be a part of your experience, that you'll discover a way of letting that life desire inside of you be worked out in the world in which you live. May the good Lord help you to that end today is my prayer.